Third time round, he takes him on. And it's not a good sight. That was quick from Lasit Malinga, the quicker of the bouncers. Lasit Malinga, he's walked away. It's not a great sight. He might have been the one delivering the blow. But as a person, you just don't want to see that happen to a batsman. First one to get away from the action. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's a nasty blow. And I think it got him uh, in that gap between the eye and, uh, and the nose. Possibly the cheekbone, I'm not too sure, but it was the third bouncer from Lasit Malinga and young Russo obviously was late in reacting to that length. Missed it and, uh, well, it missed the grill of the helmet as well. That was nasty. And that's so unfortunate. It's so tricky when you get that grill in place because... You try to, you try to keep uh, the grill and the top of the helmet as close as possible so that the ball doesn't go through. And you also want to be careful that it doesn't obstruct your view. In this instance, you can see the ball go through that gap. It's a quick ball as well, 141 kilometers from uh, Lasset Malenga. And uh, Lasit Malinga just walked away from the action straight away. He felt the pinch also. He didn't look too comfortable. And that can happen to bowlers. You know, they, they at times just cannot take this. And it dents their confidence also. But, uh, wow. This is Malinga's reaction straight away asking for help because he knew the impact was a serious one. And on his follow-through, he was the closest to Russo. He's got the ice pack on his nose. That's where the damage would be. <laughs> the lady is Tamara, who's the physiotherapist of uh, Cricket Dundee, retired, unfortunately, for 31. <laughs> 